Rebecca Ruffing is with Herkimer College, and uh, a few programs have been terminated, um, and that includes radio and television. Uh, additionally, we've received some some feedback from people in Herkimer County that uh, are upset with the hours. Uh, and Rebecca Ruffing is on the line right now. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. So the numbers <laughs> on, uh, and we've all heard the numbers in radio and television and, and uh, digital marketing and digital video, all that stuff. Numbers are down, uh, right? And that was the reason to get rid of the program? Um, yes, that was the primary reason. Um, we've seen enrollment declines in the radio TV broadcasting program specifically, as well as the new media program and our digital filmmaking. Over the past um, several years, um, we can go back with our TV many, many years as far as 04, and there's been a steady decline in enrollment. Um, the other programs are newer programs, um, either just did not take off or, you know, have seen um, similar decreases <clears throat> in recent years. Right. Um, with RTV, um, this fall, we have 25 students in wow. the radio TV broadcasting program. I know, How right? did it go from that when it was one of the most popular programs uh, that, that was at Herkimer? I just don't well, understand that. The program started in 1972. Did somebody and, did somebody find out how much radio and television pays? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that happened. Maybe well, that's it. You know, the, the job market has a lot to do with it. Yeah. Um, you know, um, at one time, um, radio, TV was probably a lot more popular um, and, and sort of a cool thing and glamorous for prospective students. And... Um, you know, with changes in the industry, it's just not something that our prospective students are asking about anymore. I, I, I uh, would say on this, and it's interesting, because if you talk to a, a graduating high school senior, um, they, radio is not where they're getting all of their, their audio from, their music from. It's right. a completely Absolutely. different world. But That's then correct. my question would be, the, however... The, the the video and media and social media, and yes. that has exploded. It's even bigger than radio and television ever was. Why not, tar why not tweak the program to go towards something that these kids are really interested in, and social media, and, I yes. mean, the stuff yes. that you can do today online and yes. through the computers is bigger than radio and television ever was. And that's probably something that um, definitely should be looked at. Um, if, it, if the faculty haven't already been doing that, they should be doing that. Um, and But as far as the program as it currently is, it's just not sustainable. Yeah. And so if we were to create a new program um, looking at future technologies, current and future ways of, um, you know, new media, I guess. Yeah. Um, it would be a whole different program. You know, when and, I went to, uh, I'm sorry, Rebecca, when I went to Herkimer, it was early 2000s. I remember one of my projects in a, uh, uh, one of the TV classes was me and like four or five other guys. We went down to the brewery, these big cameras, right? Yeah. And we shot the tour when that was our, we did a whole project yeah. on it. It took us forever. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> It's different today. I mean, you just grab a cell phone, right? Yeah. And the, the editing techniques available on a simple app yeah. or right on your laptop, right, it's, right. it's become so much easier. So I guess I can kind of see uh, that kids graduating high school aren't so interested in the higher-end production of video because you can do things so simply on your phone, and it looks really good. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. just, just to follow mm -hmm. up on, I guess, Bill, on the point that you were making where there is an evolution – of media and and really how we put out media almost everybody's a reporter if you go to an event you put right, it on facebook right. whatever so that's changed I, I just wanted to make that point yeah. can i ask as well do we know it's too late to know probably what happens to the radio station and the tv uh the tv station or the tv broadcast that you do that you that and the truck, Herkimer, the media, I guess right. we'll still do for That's another correct. year. Correct. Um, there haven't been any decisions made in regard to the studio or to the radio station um, or the labs because we are still teaching the programs. Um, we are going to continue teaching the programs for two more years um, to allow the students who are currently enrolled to get through the programs and graduate. So um, this is a relatively new development. Yeah. Um, the decision was just made a couple of weeks ago. 
So there have been no decisions made on any of that as of yet. Although I, I heard last year that the program was being I terminated. I did hear that last so, year, too. Um, well, well not, it was going through a review process. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, it was a lengthy review process over the sure. last couple of years. All right. Um, so I'm sure that, um, you know, the faculty, the faculty were involved in that process. And so I'm sure that, um, you know, it was on their mind. Uh, somebody says, great point about the social media. How about straight out filmmaking? Ithaca College, is, college turns away uh, students due to overwhelming numbers. Um, uh, companies are begging for people in, in that world. Also in in-house marketing. Uh, are these things that are being considered, are you looking to replace the program with something at this point? Um, well, I know we have several um, new programs being um, discussed in at various um, stages of the development process. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if those are specific programs that are currently in process. Right. Um, we do have a marketing program through our it's, – it's a business program. So, um, you know, it, it, one of the things that we're hearing a lot lately is about health sciences, um, obviously STEM programs. So we have a few things, a uh, few different programs in the works as far as that is yeah. concerned. Those are growth areas, um, you know, as far as jobs right. and, and interest. Can you tell me one more, uh, uh, in terms of enrollment, mm -hmm. can you tell, uh, you know, I'm hearing that enrollment is down community colleges across the state. Yeah. Um, this is not something that's just exclusive to Herkimer, but the numbers at Herkimer are low. Um, well, Tell me, um, are they? Are that's my question. Are they low? Um, where in total total enrollment? Where were we five years ago, ten years ago, versus where we are today? Um, we were at peak enrollments in 2010, 2011. Mm -hmm. um, we were just, you know, obviously there was a recession that hit in 2008, um, so our enrollments began um, just exploding from 08 through 11. And um, with community colleges, it is an inverse relationship with the economy. Yeah. So when the economy is bad, community colleges do well. Right, right. Um, and so after 2011, we started seeing enrollment decrease. Right. Um, one of the other things that is happening is high school class sizes are decreasing. Mm -hmm. And um, so with, you know, a number of factors there, we have seen a decrease in enrollment over the past five years. Um, we, this fall, we um, have actually increased our new students from last year. So, um, you know, we had a, um, we've got about 2,200 students right now, headcount, that's full and part-time. Right. And um, we have not yet enrolled our College Now students who are the high school students who take college, um, high school got classes it. for college credit in their high schools. So that number will obviously increase okay. once that enrollment is in. All right, and I want to get to, uh, we had a call last week uh, from a listener who said that um, uh, there it used to be a community college, and he fears it isn't that way anymore. Hours have changed. The fitness center hours have changed, mm -hmm. uh, making it difficult for community members to participate. Comment on that if you could. Okay. Um, well, first of all, we are a community college. Um, we are Herkimer County Community College. Um, we have a short name of Herkimer College. So we recruit from outside the area. Um, we would not be able to survive on enrollment from Herkimer County alone. Mm -hmm. So um, for purposes of recruiting students from outside the area, um, we do go by Herkimer College for short, but we are a two-year college. We serve Herkimer County first and foremost. And um, as far as the fitness center is concerned, um, we did um, have to make some changes there. Our fitness center uh, was losing quite a bit of money each year, um, and I'm talking like a lot of money, six figures. And so we had to, you know, make a business decision yeah. on um, hours and on fees. Um, we had um, a good a number of people from the community using the fitness center completely for free. Yeah. Um, which was a wonderful thing back when it was implemented in, I think, 1999, um, when, you know, we were able to do that. Um, it's, it's expensive to keep a fitness center up to date and clean and functioning and the equipment and staffed. You know, we, yeah. Um, yeah. it was proposed to us that we allow um, a member of the fitness center to come in early in the morning and yeah. op open up for us. And, and, I mean, there's liability there. There's sure. safety issues. We have to have a staff member there. 
Um, so the hours did change. Um, you know, we, we are now opening at 8 a.m. rather than 6 a.m., um, and that will help us out greatly during the winter months Got it. because, as you know, I'm always calling in and saying, hey, mm-hmm. the fitness center is opening late today. Yeah. Um, and it's a matter of um, snowplow removal and right. shoveling and getting everything open by 6 a.m. and, you know, and during winter. Right. So that's part of just a the part decision. of the All right. reasoning. All right. I appreciate, uh, Rebecca, you taking the time this oh, morning. Oh, sure. I appreciate us an update. the opportunity to come on and talk to you about it. We'll do it again. Okay. All right. Thanks Thank so much. Thank you.